Hello everyone. Today we are going to talk about micro encapsulation techniques, a topic from pharmaceutical technology B Pharm semester 8. I am Rudri Pathak from the Department of Pharmaceutical Technology, NJ Institute of Pharmacy. So how do we define the process of micro encapsulation? It is said to be a process in which very fine droplets or particles of liquids or even solids are surrounded by a coated material it can also be defined as a process of surrounding or enveloping one substance within another substance on a very small scale or even large scale yielding a kind of micro capsule within a size range of 1 micron to even 100 microns It is simply a technique for application of a very thin coating to small particles of solids or even liquids. So basically we are applying a coating on solids or liquid droplets by any of the simple technique ranging in preparation of a batch of micro capsules within a size range of 1 micron to even 100 microns the product which is prepared by such techniques can be called as micro particles micro capsules microspheres coated granules or even pellets the list goes on now why are we considering such a technique for our pharmaceutical industry the reasons are many but to have a few to list out a few reasons why micro encapsulation is so important and advantageous the first and most important reason for choosing this technique is protection most of the times we want our api or our excipient to be protected from harsh environmental conditions so to have that protection against environment such a kind of technique is used sometimes it is also needed that you want to convert your liquid into a solid product by covering it with a polymer so that its stability and its uh, storage can be improved the third reason could be it reduces the chances of incompatibility between two materials if we are coating them with a suitable polymer it is also needed to protect your product from the harsh environmental conditions as we talked about it in the point number 1 uh sometimes it is also needed to reduce evaporation of the volatile core material by coating it with a suitable material uh most of the ma- pharmaceutical industries or major market of pharmaceutical industries are now targeting or uh, they are actually working on release of product to make it more sustained to make it more delayed and to achieve this particular point the product or the core material is coated with suitable materials so that a timely release of the api can be achieved so uh, in nutshell we can have protection of our material by coating with a polymer uh, we can reduce the chances of incompatibility between two products we can also protect the material if it is volatile we can also convert that liquid material into a solid one by coating it with a suitable polymer and last but not the least to achieve a specific a targeted a sustained and a delayed kind of release you can actually go for coating with suitable polymers now what are the techniques with which micro encapsulation is actually done there are n number of techniques which are actually used throughout the world but in today's presentation we are going to talk about coesorvation phase separation which is an important technique as far as industrial purpose is concerned as far as gtu examination is concerned this particular technique is asked for 5 marks or 6 marks okay so in simple terms what is coesorvation phase separation now coesorvation means separation of a liquid phase of coating material from a polymeric solution so there will be a solution of polymer 
and that polymer will be separated out from its solvent and it will be wrapped uh, around the API or the drug material as a uniform layer and ultimately it will convert the API into a coated material. So coercervation means separation of a polymer from its solution. So basically there will be three steps involved in coercervation phase separation. First is formation of immiscible chemical phases because initially there will be one miscible phase in which drug will be suspended. Second is deposition of that coating material around the API or the core material and third is rigidization of that coating material around the API or the core material. So basically these three steps are actually involved in coercervation phase separation and out of this the first step that is formation of three immiscible chemical phase will be discussed in today's lecture because that is the most important part out of the three. This is an overview of how coercervation phase separation will work. As you can see the yellow dots are representing the drug particles. It is suspended in a polymeric solution in the first rectangle. Now because of any of the techniques the polymer from the solution will come out as it can be seen in the second rectangle small blue circles that is the polymeric solution uh, separating out the polymer from itself and that particular polymer is deposited on the drug particle which is shown in diagram number 3 that uh, the drug particles are actually coated with polymers circles of small polymers and it, in the last rectangle it can be seen that rigidization of polymers around the drug particles is actually done after rigidization the coated drug particles are separated from the solution and then undergoes further techniques for purification and final production now what are the techniques which can be used for coercervation or phase separation or formation of three immiscible chemical phases any one of these techniques is actually utilized for preparation of three immiscible phases or coercervation first is a change in temperature that is the system that you are using if you are changing the temperature of that system coercervation may take place incompatible polymer addition because it is going to change the solubility of the polymer which is utilized for coating third is a non-solvent addition again it is going to change the solubility of the polymer fourth is salt addition it is going to create imbalances and it will result out in coalescence of the polymer and last but not the least which is also termed as complex coercervation polymer polymer interaction the first technique is change in te temperature according to this technique under the conditions of polymer concentration temperature and agitation the liquid polymer is going to come out and start making a film around the core materials at a particular temperature. As you can see in the diagram below, it is a phase diagram showing relationship between temperature and concentration of polymer. It is an kind of inverted U-shaped phase diagram and till the till a particular point there will be a single phase the area in that curve under that curve is representing a single phase so it is showing at a particular temperature the uh, solvent is going to evaporate a bit and the polymer is going to precipitate out and that precipitated polymer is going to wrap the core materials or the drug particles which is shown in this diagram. 
the second is incompatible polymer adhesion now uh, because of incompatibility or battle between two different kind of polymer for the same solvent the polymer which is utilized for coating is going to precipitate out and it is going to start depositing around the core material again it is explained with the help of a phase diagram as you can see there are three points of the triangle representing 100% solvent 100% polymer number 1 and 100% poly number, polymer number 2 that is polymer X and polymer Y now again it is a kind of inverted U shaped phase diagram the area under that curve is showing a single phase but the area which is outside that curve which is represented by a red dot that is representing a particular ratio of polymer X, polymer Y and solvent which is used for dissolving these two polymers. So at a particular ratio of these three ingredients it is showing or it is represented by that red dot that the first polymer or the polymer X is going to precipitate out it is going to come out and the moment it comes out it starts depositing around the core material okay again the third technique is a non-solvent addition and it is going to change the solubility criteria of the polymer in choice a liquid which is a non-solvent for the given polymer will be added to the solution of polymer to induce a particular kind of phase separation and again it is represented by this phase diagram as you can see there are three points of the triangle your solvent non-solvent and the polymer as you can see the point C of the phase diagram shows the uh, concentration of solvent non-solvent and polymer at which phase separation is going to take place and that polymer will be utilized for coating the drug particles now other two uh, properties by which coalescence can actually take place are salt addition similarly uh, like the other three properties that we discussed in our previous slides uh, add a particular solvent addition sorry salt addition there will be chances of phase separation because these inorganic salts are actually added to the solvent system to change the solubility of polymer and ultimately phase separation will take place last but not the least in polymer polymer interaction there will be some kind of interaction between oppositely charged polymers that is first the polymer that we want to have and second oppositely charged polymer they will combine they will interact and they will prepare an insoluble polymer complex now this particular insoluble polymer complex is utilized for coating of drug and it is further utilized for um, coalescence and preparation of micro encapsulation so to summarize micro encapsulation involves or deep understanding of properties of nature of the core material because that is how we are going to select what kind of polymer should be used then properties of coating material because that is how we can have an estimate that how we are going to achieve delayed release or timely release then the stability and release ca characteristics of the finally prepared micro capsules and the techniques which are actually utilized for preparation of micro capsules that's all for today's session we'll talk about further topics of capsules in our later videos Thank you.